guys welcome or welcome back if you're new here my name is victoria and i am a sustainable fashion designer go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you come join the family i'm still on this little reset kick going on i hope you guys are off on a good start so i wanted to give you guys a video of my sewing plans and my business plans for this month if this is something that you're interested in just keep on watching all right so y'all already know i got my handy dandy notebook i don't go without it i don't have none of these um bullet points in no particular order i just wrote down what was on my mind let's just get into it off topic here i had to go get an eye exam like a few days ago listen <sighs> I'm back with the specs. I'm getting adjusted to it. I'm sorry if there's a glare, but uh, yeah. So my first bullet point that I got is building a summer wardrobe using handmade or secondhand items. I've already been kind of doing that, um, making a few little pieces to add into my collection because y'all, about a few weeks back, I went through all my clothes and I don't have shit i only had one pair of shorts <laughs> and i can't wear those just that for the whole summer so i uh went to the thrift store uh the other day actually i actually did these right here they were some pants and i cut them into into jorts They're definitely gonna be building on for this summer i will say that so my next uh bullet point is building my email list and I have here offer freebies, giveaways, market social media consistently. What I say for that is just promoting um, on my social media, my my website. Um, just telling people, hey, sign up for my email list. I want to build up to where I want to have a lookbook. Get ideas of how to style the different pieces that I make. So I want to get up to that point. So that's what I'll be working on. <sighs> it's so tedious <laughs> but you just you gotta you gotta push through it that's the best thing i could really say when it comes to this uh so the next bullet point i got is make an outfit for a photo shoot um this is for a fashion show i did mention i want to say my last video um that i'll be at a fashion show this fall and we about to do this photo shoot the photo shoot is going to consist of all the designers it's um basically showing the brands that's going to be in the show and i thought about just wearing what i already have knowing me it's only right i got to make something and let me show y'all something real quick because this what caught my attention and i'm like oh yeah oh yeah i gotta do it all right so hear me out i decided i wanted to just go on and make something because for one it gives me an excuse to go into the fabric store and just shop and get some more fabric. Two, that just gives me a chance to just make me something to add to my wardrobe. It's just a lot of opportunities with this, okay? So the idea that I have um, to kind of tie in with the theme of what the show is going to be about, check this out. So I'm thinking about using Simplicity by Mimi G. It's the R12027 pattern i'm thinking about this one just the top so peep that and now listen 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 listen, listen. i hope y'all can see this is tiana taylor i think she wore this oh this is quite a while back probably a couple months back but yo this is like a skirt like a paint i call it a cargo skirt pants type of situation that is sick picture that in denim old denim shindig like <laughs> i think that would be that would be sick so yeah just picture that I, i'm excited to start working on that so my next bullet point is create items out of scrap fabric i've actually already started doing that i could show y'all real quick <laughs> look I, I feel like i'm just jumping off the rim everywhere but that's okay let me show y'all what i made this is all pure scrap i made this little bag here at first i didn't know what the hell i was gonna do so i took on a challenge and i'm like fuck it let me go ahead and make me a bag it's a crossbody. you can uh, do some things with it i feel like i made it a little too long but then again not quite this is what it looks like i got quite a bit more scraps 
trust and believe if y'all got some ideas let me take the damn glasses off so if y'all got some ideas of what i could make out of scraps can y'all let me know in the comments just give me some ideas we could we could brainstorm so the here, next okay? bullet point i have here is keep promoting the brand through all social media and i have um another bullet at the bottom of here aesthetic styling the items outfit ideas educational information so yeah i'm kind of been tailoring my aesthetic if that makes sense I'm the type of girly I love like the 90s, late 80s type of vibe. Like, the outfits, uh, just I guess the life back then. I've been tailoring my my brand around that aesthetic, but in a in a modern way. I hope that's making sense. <laughs> I feel like with Instagram, first of all, Instagram is so difficult because it's so picky. They want a certain aesthetic and all this, all this extra stuff. And it it honestly does make things difficult for small businesses. People that I'll be watching, they could say the same thing. Um, it's hard, but to be honest, like, man, look. Somebody out there like what I'm wearing. Somebody like what I'm making. Somebody like what I'm rocking. Somebody liking what kind of video I'm putting out there. I just being myself, being my best self, and just, you know, I guess tailoring still with the trend and audio and shit like that. But I'm just really just being myself. So the next bullet point I have is being active on Depop. The biggest thing why I have a Depop is to invest towards my business. So that's why I'm like, I've been really trying to push with my Depop. What I have listed on here is um, selling out my inventory, posting consistently, and making sure your pictures are bomb as fuck. That's what I put on here. <laughs> Key thing with Depop, make sure your pictures look good. I'm a seller. Um, I take pictures of me wearing the item. I know there's a lot of different type of vendors out there. Do what works for you. Me, I feel like wearing the item is what works for me. Me as a customer, I want to see an item look good on the floor, but I want to see what it looked like in person. <clears throat> so the last thing I have listed here is accepting clients for alterations. I'm going to do it for this month in July, August. Mm, I got to really be solely focused on the brand and getting prepped for the events. It's going to be for this month and for July that I'll be accepting clients for that. That's all that I got for this month. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all next time.